If you want to increase the volume, you hit the boost button first, and then you increase the volume by going up and down. Imagine not hearing the sound of a simple product needed to communicate, the telephone. If I receive a call sometimes, I can't understand what is being said. Harold Showers has used hearing aids for two and a half years. They have helped, but they do not make it real clear. To help Louisiana residents with hearing difficulties, the Louisiana Commission for the Deaf decided to fund a solution. And then you follow instructions on the screen. The organization partnered with New Horizons Independent Living Center to coordinate an assistive telecommunication equipment program in central Louisiana. The point of the program is that uh, there are a lot of people who have hearing impairments and are unable to communicate over the phone effectively. And so these phones and its equipment is to help the residents of Louisiana. Independent Living Specialist Ken Zangla wants people in the area to know the main benefit of this program. It's free. It doesn't cost anybody anything to use it, but it does remain equipment belonging to the state, so therefore it's called a loaner program. But you keep it as long as you need it, or if it breaks, or if your hearing gets worse and you need to swap it for something else, that's all okay. Using a device such as a CapTel telephone can help you see what people are saying to you using a caption screen. After dialing the number, I can wait for their response and answer. This caption phone uses a third party called the relay system to transcribe the message. The key is to make sure the caption button is red. This way you can be assured that someone is able to make communication and for certain other emergency situations as well. With this system, I believe it would help me a whole lot. Qualifications for this program include a completed application, photo ID showing Louisiana residency, copy of a Social Security or Medicare card, and documentation of hearing impairment. Lauren Partain, ABC 31 News.